This is Brendan and today is June 26th, 2015. And this is bed bug update number five, I believe it is. So here I am, roughly six months later, still haven't been able to move into the house and in order to make room for my furniture to move into the house so that I can rent the trailer to help pay for Claire's expenses, I've got to make room for furniture. So I'm having a garage sale tomorrow and this is some of the stuff that I'm putting up for sale. As you see, I've got a back porch filled with things and it's a lot of stuff that's Claire's personal effects. Um, needless to say, it's very difficult for me to have to put this up for sale and have to give it away for little or nothing, especially knowing how hard it was for Claire over the course of a lifetime to be able to afford a lot of these things and to know I'm giving them away for a fraction of what she paid for it. I think the worst part is just knowing that they had sentimental value. These were Claire's possessions and her belongings and something has to be done with them. Usually this happens after a person dies, but in this case, uh, I'm having to let go of things little by little. Wow. Emotional. I didn't think I'd ever be putting all of this stuff up for sale. And um, again, I was the only one behind doing this. So I had to clean the porch. I had to get the items out, go through them all again, because they've all been treated for bed bugs by washing or drying high heat or putting, in, putting them outside in a black plastic bag in the truck in the middle of the hot summer sun. So all of this stuff has been exposed to pesticide to make sure they're safe and has been laundered. So I had to go through all of this stuff during that process and now I'm having to go through it all yet again so that I can uh, try and put a price on each item and put it up for sale. And as you can see, there's the cat. She's still with us after all these months, although she's been alone in the house every day. Taking her to get groomed next week, at least one last time. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep her much longer, if I'm gonna be able to find a home for her or put her to sleep, I just don't know yet. But hopefully we'll be able to get rid of some of this tomorrow, hopefully a lot of it, so that I can make room and begin the process of moving into the house. If not, I guess it'll have to all go to the Salvation Army. So that's kind of where I stand now. And of course, once again, the house is still in disarray. To make room for stuff on the back porch, had to make adjustments here inside the house. Cat sleeping on an ironing board. Still a lot of stuff here on the kitchen counter. There are two or three pieces that I decided not to sell to keep as a memory of Claire. Utility room again, still bags of stuff and boxes that needs to be put somewhere. Um, all the chairs from the porch are here in the living room now and um, all that's gonna have to go back outside again and just to be on the safe side I'm gonna get Jane J exterminating to come back one last time and treat one more time for bed bugs at an extra cost just so that I can have a little extra peace of mind before I start moving my things here into the house so anyway this is bed bug update number five, June 26, 2015.